Hello, welcome back. This is Kenji1913, and I just hit puberty. And we are let's play Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode, we did the final hunts that we need to do for now, of course. Now, like I was mentioning in the other episode, we are actually going to head west of Castaway Cove towards a few islands, collect a few treasures, do a couple things for a couple familiars. And then we're pretty much done. Then we can finally, finally, finally head towards where we need to go for, uh... Where we need to go for whatever the hell we're doing. Oh, we gotta go find a sky pirate, correct. Yes, we will do that. So, Castaway Cove is over here, then we're gonna head west. There's a three islands that I'm going to check out. One of them is called Bundler's Bay, which is directly west. Then you see this big island in the middle there. We can't go there because we don't have a means of transportation. And then there's two other little islands, and when we get there, I'll tell you their names. So yeah, last episode, we finished off some Solid Sam series stuff, and then we fought some hunts and things and whatnot. Things of that nature. So, yeah. Um. Uh, I gotta fight you. No, oh, well, let's fight. Hey, look at that! We got Nans and Crackpots. Yeah, let's take these guys out. <clears throat> that was pretty easy. What can I say? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Ooh, yay. <coughs> you can metamorphosize, but too bad I'm not going to be using that until later. Alright, so welcome to Bungler's Bay. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had this extra spot. Um, I guess I give you that. No one else has anything that I can. Nope. 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 Okay. All right. So over here, there is really nothing I can do. Except pick up a big babana, which is right over here. You can use those to, in your alchemy, to make like babana cakes or whatever, banana, babana ice cream or whatever. Anyways, you see that little island over there? That's a forest glade that we cannot get to right now. We got some new enemies. Snapcrap and Wincy and Sprout Sprite. These guys are fairly easy. Although they're probably actually they're probably difficult if you weren't at this high level. But I really highly suggest to anyone who's really playing this game, if you're not playing on easy, to go to that one that town and fight uh, or go to that island and fight uh, some Toto guys to go up levels. It's worth it. Because like I said before, there is a difficulty curve once you get the boat. It seems like everybody can kick your ass. <clears throat> and you can change that if you just fight for a little while over in that area. Maybe like an hour or two and you can get up a bunch of levels. And not have those guys boss and bully you around. So this is pretty much Bungler's Bay. I actually like the fact that they have different music for when you're on these islands, like rather than the main Nino Kuni theme. All right, so now we're gonna head northwest. I'm not actually gonna head to the island directly west. And then this big island coming up on our right here, I feel like a tour guide, uh, is an area that we cannot reach access yet by ship. Maybe there'll be a way to do it later, but not right now. 
This place has a very Dragon Quest VIII feel with the uh, island there. Because I remember there was one island you couldn't get to in Dragon Quest VIII without a special, like, route that you had to go to on a boat. I forget what the name of that town was. But eventually you found Imperia, the god bird. Anyways, we're gonna head over to this, uh, Kate, or this, uh, island over here, which is called Turtle Crag, which is directly north of us. And who doesn't like doing that? Exploration! This is one thing that I do like about this game, is, uh, the exploration that you can do. It's fun. Anyways, let's uh, fight these sons of. Oh, it's the same guys. Come on. Apparently, there's they're all the same on all these uh, different areas. So there we go. I like that Piggles. Can... He's now pretty good because he can poison dudes. We did it. Yes, we did. We did do it. It is what pie on a bone? What? Pie on a bone. Alright, so we got a rumble nut, and over here there should be a forest glade. Let's head into it. Now we're eventually gonna have to come back here because we gotta open up some chests, but I'm pretty sure there's some stuff we can get while we're here. Yeah, it looks like there's a statue of evil Drippy right over there. Alright, now there is a chest over there, you see it? On top of that rock, we gotta figure out, uh, we gotta walk around and see if I can find, uh, uh, where the explanation point comes up. Hmm. Where are you? Where are you? Explanation point. Come on. Hmm. Yeah, we can't get that treasure. Ooh, here we go. There we go. Ready? Yes. Swain, get that shit. Yay! Ooh, a slowpoke gem. Yeah, so these gems, if I haven't mentioned, will actually, when you use them on a familiar, will have them learn that ability. So they'll learn Slowpoke. Now, I'm not actually going to use any of these gems until I get my familiars to the third level. And then even then, I probably won't use them until after they learn all of their abilities. Because then, if you try to have them learn an ability now, they might learn it later or whatever, I don't know. Anyways, now let's head back down south to the new to the final island in this section called the Hermit Shell, which is a pretty cool island, and I actually wonder if there is a real island like this in the world, in, on Earth. And here's how I explain how I wonder. Because you see over here, it's pretty much, uh, you can't get in unless you go by boat and you have to go through this archway over here. So I wonder if there's a real place like this that has an island like that. That'd be kind of neat. Anyways, here we can pick up some meteor fra meteorite fragments. And this area is the Cave of Familiars. As you can see, there are all sorts of familiars here. Like this Cookly Clan. We got kitty cats and all that shit. So what we need to do is cast... I think it is nature's tongue. Right. Now if we cast that, uh, and we give this guy a sprocket, we will, uh, we will get an item. Now we should have already picked up an item, a sprocket. If not, then you have to go back to, um, Hamlin and fight around town and get it. 
So we want to appease all these guys and we'll get a nice gift. So this guy wants us to give two well-worn swords. If you didn't have well-worn swords, you can buy them at Ding Dong Dell. But since I already have two from back when I was, uh, since when I was, uh, collecting shit, and this is one of the reasons why I don't sell anything. And there we go, we get a poison pinch spell. Or a poison pinch thing. A gem. And yeah, we can't open this one yet. Let's see, what else do we have? And we got this potty guy. And what this potty guy wants is... He wants to talk to another potty guy, I think, or something. Something like that. Oh, so he wants us to find a potty. So, pretty much, if you, uh, if you already have captured one, you just gotta bring it back here and show them. Let's talk to these naiads now. Where is that spell? Oh, there it is. There it is. So, yeah, these naiads here, they want, uh, cakes. I think two of them want a carrot cake and one of them wants a carnation cake. Now you can make these cakes via alchemy and we should have the alchemy recipes for them. And then like let's say you don't have any of these cakes, you can always um, you can always uh, buy the ingredients at the, at the item shop and then make them through alchemy. So we get a vial of Sage's Secret. So before talking to the Toto Toro, Toko, let's uh, talk to this guy and see what he wants. Uh, so he needs a mushroom buddy too. So that's what we need to do. We need to go back and get a couple of them. Get a couple mushroom people. Yeah, we are friends here. We're pretty cool friends. You guys are pretty cool. You're all nice. So I know I caught a potty, and I, I think I caught a mushroom guy. So what I want to do is warp back to probably Castaway Cove. Yeah, that seems to be the place where... Castaway Cove, because that seems to be the place where I can uh, get the monster or the familiars that I need, and then I'll be all set. I know I have a potty. Let's see if I have a mushroom guy. And I think any potty guy and any mushroom guy will do. So let's, uh, rich oh, we need to drop off. Uh, no. Yes, you. You as well. And then you. And let's pick up Polly. Where are you? Where is he? I know I got one. There we go. And let's see, do I have a mushroom guy? Do I have a mushroom guy? Oh, here we go. I hope this guy will work. Anyways, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, now that I have these two familiars, I'm gonna head back to, uh, that, uh, the hermit shell, and we will show off those guys. So, I'm pretty much back at hermit shell now. Let's go inside and, uh, be friendly with the last two dudes. So, Nature Tongue. Yeah, we brought you a cat. A mushroom guy. Alright, five glow caps. Guess that's alright. Yeah, look at that. We're doing good for you. 
And he gives us three bottles of Pixie Dew, which is nice. Now if we come and talk to Totoro, or Toko, or whatever, we can get... We did help everybody. And what he gives us is a name tag, which is an item that we can use now if we want to change names of your familiars. And I think it's an unlimited item. I'm not 100% sure because I never ended up using it back when I originally played it because I never decided to rename any of my monsters. Plus the fact that I didn't even bother doing this in the other game, in my original run through. Like when I, origi when I first played this game. So now we are done. That's right, we're done with side quests. So let's head off to uh, Skull Mountain and try to meet the Air Pirate or Sky Pirate or whatever. What kind of pirate is he, you're wondering? Well, he is a pirate and he is in the sky sometimes, so hence Sky Pirates. But yeah, let's talk about Sky Pirates. Why don't we? So, the only movie that I've ever seen like them do Sky Pirates is Stardust. It's a book by Neil Gaiman that they turned into a movie, and Robert De Niro plays a Sky Pirate. You don't really see a lot of Sky Pirates in movies. I mean, anime you kind of see a little bit. Um, maybe that Sky Captain of the World tomorrow. But I could just be biased because I hear the word Sky. And I assume that they are. But yeah, you never hear about like airships and shit being like flying in the sky and stuff in movies and things like that. Alright, so there's Russet Potato Island where there's a glade, but I forgot to get it. I'll go back and do it later. Anyways, there is three. Let's see, three, four, four, let's see. One, two, three. Okay, there's three treasures we can get on Skull Island. Or Skull Mountain. So the first one is from the landing on the beach, the west coast of the Summerlands, cross the river to the south, continue to follow the coast south, search just south of the first thicket of trees, you pass along the cliff's edge to find a cup of my, uh, or a mug of cappuccino. So it's got to be somewhere over here, but more towards the left area. And yeah, eventually we're going to get a spell that'll help us locate these goddamn things. But until then, we just have to do it the old-fashioned way by running around like an idiot. Even though I do have directions, I still run around like a moron. So it's somewhere around here. Thank God there's only three, otherwise I'd be screwed. So once again, from the landing on the beach on the west coast of the Summerlands, cross the river to the south, continue to follow the coast south, search your just south, the first thicket of trees, you pass along the cliff's edge to find a mug of cappuccino. Where the hell is it? Yeah, this thing doesn't work out here. Sometimes it's best to stop thinking about it, then go do something else, then come back and find it. Although with this game, not so much. You can't really do that that much because it's tough. It is tough to do. So yeah, let's see if I can find them. There we go. There we go. We got some cappuccino. Now this one is pretty tough to find because apparently I'm an idiot. From the landing beach on the west coast of the Summerlands, head east until you hit a small, elevated rich san sandwich between the mountains and the south of the river to the north. Search the larger of the two giant boulders south of it, the ridge to find a star drop. 
So yeah, I don't know what the hell they were saying here. And then finally, I'm actually going to collect this one first. Uh, follow the river south of Skull Mountain. Bear left and follow the river to a dead end just south of the waterfall. Search a large boulder at the dead end and turn up 500 fuckery dudes. Oh man. Alright, we got a new enemy here. Spoo -goo 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 What's his name? Spitalugan. So he's like a hooligan, but a spit guy, too. He likes spit. Yeah, I'm not gonna recruit the spouter guy because I already got him. Or whatever the hell the name of the enemy is. So we come over here. I thought that these rocks here were the big rocks that they were talking about, but they're apparently not. Hey, there we go. Run away. I like that. That gives me more opportunity to search what I, what I want. Anyways, here's the 500 gold. All right, so from the landing on the beach to the west of the east coast of Summerlands, head east until you hit a small elevated ridge sandwich between two mountains to the south and the river of the north. Search the larger of the two boulders and blah blah blah. So yeah, I had a lot of trouble looking at finding this thing. I don't know, maybe I don't read clearly enough or whatever, but if we go towards that waterfall that was on the right, we'll actually find it. I was I was actually considering speeding up this footage by the side against it. Because, uh, I don't know, we're so close. We're so close to the next area. After this, it, collecting treasures for stuff should be like a thousand times easier. Alright. So yeah, I'm searching over here, but this is not where they were talking about. After reading it, it makes some more sense, but still, the uh, description of where to find this thing can be a little tricky. So let me pause it and figure out what the hell is going on. And uh, yeah, now we're back. So we're on the other side of the river that we were just at, and we're going to go get this goddamn treasure. And then I'm going to head up to Skull Mountain. Because I'm sick and goddamn tired of looking for these goddamn... I'm sick and goddamn tired of these snakes in this video game. Or the treasures of the goddamn video game. So yeah, we gotta head... Not this way. We gotta head back down through the bridge there. I keep thinking that it's over here, but it's not. It's totally in the opposite direction. Oh, crud. Oh, we got a new enemy, Bighorn. Here we go. These guys are strong against physical attacks. Use your spells or your special moves on them. And if you don't want them, just attack them blindly. Alright, so there we go. Head south here. All right, so there should be something right over here. No, I don't want to hear from you, Drippy. There we go, star drop! Yay! 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 Now we can actually head over to Skull Mountain, like inside Skull Mountain. So now we have all three. Items in this area. Anyways, let's go now. North. To Skull Mountain. Which ironically was owned before before uh Kublai owned this area. Actually Skeletor owned this place. And it used to be called Snake Mountain. But 
they had to change the name after the previous owner left. Alright, so here we are inside Snake Mountain. Skull Mountain? Whatever. Anyways, I am going to stop the video here. In the next episode, we will explore this area. This has been Kenshin1913. See you later. Bye-bye.